Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. My Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? 
You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Related to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks.
Ari comment, sample of no interest, comes to one of the policemen present on the waistband. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine-tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Listen, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file.
It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but... Who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Pretty chilly, huh? Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's someone in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. I'm gonna leave. I see you in the office, right? Okay. See you later. We got our origami killer. I want every available man to finding Ethan Mars. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. 